In this video, we're going to talk about writing equations in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, and you notice that m, the slope, and b, the y-intercept, are red, and that's because all you really need to do to write an equation in slope-intercept form is to get the slope and the y-intercept and plug them into the equation. In this example here, you can see that they are already giving us the slope. They're telling us m equals 3. So I can take this and I can write this like this, y equals, and I know that my slope is 3, so I'm going to put here y equals 3x plus b. So now that we have the slope in place, all we need to do is get our y-intercept, b. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at this point here. This point, 2 comma 5, is on the line. So we're going to take the x and the y values from this point, and we're going to plug them in to this equation and then solve for b. So remember, whenever you substitute for a variable, you want to use parentheses. That way you make sure that you don't make any mistakes. So I have here y equals 3x plus b, and I just need to plug in my x and my y. So my y value here is 5, and my x value is 2. And so now I'm going to work this out. So I have 5 equals, well, 3 times 2 is 6 plus b. Now all I need to do is solve for b. So I need to subtract 6 from both sides. And I find that b is negative 1. Now I just want to take my slope, 3, and my y-intercept, negative 1, and plug them into my equation. So I'm going to write this y equals, and I'm going to leave a space, and then x. And all I'm going to do is drop my slope right here and drop the y-intercept right here. So my slope is 3 and my y-intercept is negative 1. So this is the equation that has a slope of 3 and passes through this point 2 comma 5 and the equation is y equals 3x minus 1. All right, let's take a look at another example here. This time the slope is negative 2 thirds and a point on the line is negative 6 comma negative 5. So again, we need to plug these in, the slope and the y-intercept into the equation. We already have the slope. So now that's going to look like this. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus b. Now we need to find our y-intercept b. And how are we going to do that? We're going to substitute the x and y value from this point. And as always, use parentheses. So y equals negative 2 thirds times x plus b. We're going to plug these points in. My y value is negative 5. And my x value is negative 6. And we solve. So negative 5 equals negative 2 thirds times negative 6 you think about this here like this right I can cross simplify this 6 and this 3 this becomes a 1 and this becomes a 2 and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 so this becomes 4 plus B and now to solve for B we just need to subtract 4 from both sides and we get B is negative 9 so now that I know that my slope is negative 3 and my y-intercept is negative 9, all i got to do is plug them into this equation. So my slope is going to go right here in front of x, negative 2 thirds, and my y-intercept is going to go right here behind x, negative 9. So the equation for this line is y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 9. All right, so if you look at this next example, you notice that they do not give us the slope this time. They just tell us that the line passes through points 1, 4 and 3, 18. So since they are not giving us the slope, we need to find the slope. How do we do that? With slope formula. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so first, I want to take one of these points and label them as 
x1, y1, and the other point as x2, y2. And then I want to set up my slope formula using my parentheses. So my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I'm going to plug these numbers in. So my y2 value is 18. My y1 value is 4. My x2 value is 3. And my x1 value is 1. And so now I'm going to subtract. 18 minus 4, that's 14. And 3 minus 1, that's 2. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. So now I know that the slope is 7. So now I can take that slope and plug it into the equation. So y equals 7x plus b. So now I need to solve for b. And the way I'm going to do that is by picking one of the points and plugging them in. Since there's two points this time, it really does not matter which point you choose. So why not choose the point with the lower values, right? So I'm going to rewrite this as, with my parentheses, y equals 7 times x plus b. Plug in my y value is 4 and my x value is 1. So 4 equals 7 times 1 is 7 plus b. Next, we're going to subtract 7 from both sides so that we can isolate b. And we find that b equals negative 3. Now that I know that my slope is 7 and my y-intercept is negative 3, I'm just going to plug them in here. So my slope comes in front of x, 7, and my y-intercept comes behind x, negative 3. So here is my equation. y equals 7x minus 3. All right, so looking at one more example, let's go ahead and write the equation for the line that passes through point 6, 6 and point negative 2, 2. Once again, we don't have a slope, so we need to find it. So we're going to use our slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I'm going to set this up using my parentheses. And I need to label one of these points x1, y1, and the other point x2, y2 and plug these numbers in. So my y2 value is 2 and my y1 value is 6. My x2 value is negative 2 and my x1 value is 6. So now over here on top, 2 minus 6 is negative 4 and negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. And negative 4 divided by negative 8 equals positive half because Think about the fraction 4 over 8, that simplifies to 1 half, and negative divided by negative is positive. So now we know that our slope is positive half. Now that I know what my slope is, I can plug it into the equation. So I have y equals half x plus b. And now I need to pick one of these two points and plug it in for x and y to solve for b. And since 6 comma 6, they're both 6, that's what I'm going to use. Again, I'm going to use parentheses because they help you to avoid mistakes. Plug my numbers in and work it out. So 6 equals half of 6 is 3 plus b. Then I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And I get b equals 3. Now that I know that my slope is half and my y-intercept is 3, I'm just going to take them and plug them into the equation. So my slope is half and my y-intercept is positive 3. So my equation is y equals half x plus 3. All right, I hope that this lesson helped you to understand how to write equations in slope-intercept form.